Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! For today's video, I'll share with you the secret of apple. Nice. What does it mean with the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? It simply means that we have to eat healthy foods to keep ourselves healthy and minimize trips to doctors. <coughs> but what's in apple that will keep us healthy? Apple actually contains a lot of nutrients that are beneficial to the body. The amount of nutrients that we get depends also on the amount of apple that we consume. Let's take a look at the nutrients and benefits of apple. The computation that I made is based on the Philippine Food Computation Tables of 2019 and USDA. This whole red apple weighs 129 grams. But without the seeds, this weighs 123 grams. The following are the computed nutrients based on the edible portion of apple or the one without the seeds. Another good benefit of apple is its fiber content. The total dietary fiber of 123 grams apple is 4.21 grams. It's higher compared to the fiber content of banana and orange. Apple contains both insoluble and soluble fiber. The soluble fiber of apple is known as pectin. Pectin is a gel forming fiber that easily absorbs water that is why it can relieve both diarrhea and constipation. Studies have shown that pectin also lowers down bad cholesterol, delay gastric emptying, and keep us feel full longer, therefore helps in weight management as well as in controlling blood sugar. Oh my god! Wow! It has anti-cancer activities and prevents bowel disorders. When eating apples, it is recommended that we include the skin for it contains the insoluble fiber and almost half of the vitamin C content. Insoluble fiber provides bulk or volume to stool, preventing constipation and promotes regular bowel movement. Same with soluble fiber, insoluble fiber also keeps us feel full longer once it reaches the colon. Nice. Apple also contains strong antioxidants such as quercetin, catechin, fluorescein, and chlorogenic acid, and most of it can be found in its skin. Wow. Antioxidants are substances that protect our cells from free radicals which cause cancer heart disease, joint disease, diabetes, and other diseases. Hey, that's pretty good! Quercetin is responsible in reducing the risks of neurodegenerative disorders, cancer, heart disease, allergic disorders, and hypertension to name a few. Wow. While catechin also prevents cancer as well as lowers blood cholesterol and prevents inflammatory bowel disorder. On the other hand, fluorescein and chlorogenic acid help control blood sugar levels. Nice. 
Now you might be wondering if which is healthier, green or red apple? If we talk about the nutrient content, green apple is actually healthier than red apple. Green apple contains more vitamin A, C, B vitamins, vitamin K, iron, potassium, and fiber than red apple. But if we are talking about antioxidants, red apple contains more than green apple. Regardless of your preference, both are beneficial to the body. So that's about it. I hope I was able to provide you enough information to help you with your food choices and limit your trips to your doctors. I hope you learned something today and if you have questions or suggestions, just drop a comment and please don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe. This is Binga Guheta saying, stay healthy!